I do. Look, we have two fat ones right there. Let's put this guy out. Let's get the air rifle. Do you want me to zoom in on that? That, that puppy? I don't think I've ever seen an iguana that orange before. You see him, right? Yeah. Let me see, let me see this camera. Let me make sure we're getting an accurate depiction of this iguana. What's going on guys? It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man. If you guys want to find out how I caught all these iguanas, like, comment, obliterate the red subscribe button, and without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Thank you. Into Alphanus. It's like a sidewinder. There, just like that. Oh, I don't know what it is, but it has. It's your friend Raj the Iguana Man. We're back at you guys with another video. If you guys want to see how we caught all these iguanas, like, comment, and hit that red subscribe button. Not quite sure if you see in the last video, but we got this new uh, work van. It's a Toyota box. Gorgeous metallic baby blue. And guess what? It's really good on gas. 40 miles per gallon on the highway. So I can do a lot of road trips. It's got plenty of room. Oh my goodness. We got air rifles. I got a box actually from somebody. Whoa. Whoa. We're going to open this box, guys. We got a gift. Hey, special thanks to our friend Mike. He just sent us a package in the mail. He's like, you want a man? I got something that's going to help you a lot. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. So check it out, guys. Here's the package. What's inside? Let's find out. Special thanks to our friend Mike from Utah. Guys, we're gonna set up a PO box. So if you guys have any gifts or anything, hey. fan mail or anything, you guys wanna send to Iguana Man, I'll be more than happy to unbox it for you guys. And I appreciate all the help and everybody that's reaching out trying to help us get this iguana problem under control. Whoa, what's in here? Whoa. Here, open the hood. What? Are you serious? Whoa. What is this? It's stuck. No, 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 you have to go the whole thing with you. Don't pull out fast. Whoa. It's stuck together. Oh no. Guys, we're gonna get this situated. We don't know what it is. It looks like a painting. That is really, really cool. Look at that. Wait, I think there's a note in here, Will. Oh. Hey, so no, tell me that's not cool though, bro. Yeah. All right, guys. So, uh, it's a little humid out here. Things got a little sticky, but check out this right here. Look at that. And believe it or not, this is not actually art. Well, it is, but they're not paintings, but they are. They're actually shooting targets. That's right. Special thanks to our friend Mike for sending this right here. Look at that. We got one, we got two, Three? I don't even want to shoot at these. They're real pretty. I can hang these up on my wall. Custom made art. Whoa. We got a red one. We got a green one. What's over here? Oh, wow. We even have a colorful one right there. But wait, we have a note. Wow. We actually have a very long note. I'm going to read this note real quick, guys, and then I'll let you guys know what it says. All right, guys, special thanks to our friend Mike for sending this right here. Drop some comments. Let me know which one is your favorite. I accidentally let them get stuck a little bit too long, but next time if I get some, I'm going to definitely open them. Maybe I can put them in a, in a cool area inside, and then maybe they'll detach themselves. But that's my favorite right there. Let me know which your, one your favorite is. Apparently, these are targets, but they're so pretty. I don't even want to shoot at them, but we might just have to, guys, put these iguanas in the bag. Thanks, Mike, for all this stuff, man. I read your, your uh, letter too, man. Very touching. And uh, awesome stuff, bro. Oh, 
Oh shoot, there he is. Silly Iguana. Dang, look at the size of the Super Alpha right here. Calm down, big boy. Ugh. Calm down, big boy. You've been a bad, bad iguana. <laughs> Talk about a big pet dragon. Wow. It's incredible, guys. Some people actually have these things for pets and look how massive they are. I guess you would need a really big enclosure to keep them in healthy. I'm glad we got him. Let's go ahead and put this super alpha iguana in the bag. We are back out here at your friend Raj, the Iguana Man. We're doing some more Iguana removal. We're back over here at our Gator community. The iguanas are having a field day. We gotta go ahead and see if we can put them in the bag. Oh, we got two of them right there. Boom. Folded them. Oh, our one's right there. Whoa. I was gonna say, how did he shake that off? That would have been basically impossible. Grab the back leg, secure him, watch for gators. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled for that other iguana. So obviously he's still close. But I was gonna say, how did this guy get clocked and he just rolled it off? It doesn't happen like that. You guys know, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Raj Iguana Man, and we get contracted to come to different jobs to do nuisance iguana removal. If you're not familiar, the state of Florida is under an iguana crisis right now. They call it the green plague. We have these iguanas everywhere, eating native plants, digging holes, disrupting the native wildlife, and for some people just being a straight nuisance and trespassing on the property. Today, we're gonna see how many trespassing iguanas we can take out out of the gated community. Like, comment, and obliterate that red subscribe button. boys safe to say he's taking a snoozer let's mark that location though we got to go over there and recover that puppy let's get it all right guys i think we see one of those iguanas that jumped in Super silly. obviously it's just me by myself today but we got to do what we got to do put those iguanas in the bag Ooh, one and done Put those iguanas in the bag. Ooh, one and done. Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah, I seen it very clear. Dang, son, that was about, what is that, Dell? Like 70 yards? 100 <laughs> yards? Yeah. Insane. How are you going, sir? Um, I'm working for the community. 
Yep. Cleaning up some of these iguanas. We're gonna go pick all the ones that are getting shot, we're gonna go pick them up. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're eating all your flowers, huh? Is that why you gotta put them up right there? Yeah. I see. Well, we're here to help. We're gonna clean up as many as we can, all right? You're welcome, sir. Holy crap, guys. You just <laughs> see that right there. Look at Whoa. Straight nope. dinosaurs out here. For real, right? Straight dinosaurs. There's gotta be at least a few year old iguanas out here. Exactly, dude. You know? Those two slugs. Important thing of the removal over here is recovering the carcass to get the bounty. Okay, that's what we're gonna try to do here. Hopefully, we get them. There's right there. Look at that little color door. Look at that. Thick. You guys can see he's definitely, obviously, an alpha iguana, a giant. Look at that right there. He's fired down right now, and he probably came out to get sun. And when he heats up, that's when he'll turn that bright orange coloration, kind of like a tiger. Probably his head turns white, and that's when he's fired up. Right now he's fired down. But uh, yeah. Look at that right there. Nice iguana, guys. In the bag. Slide. Sometimes you gotta wrestle a little bit. That was my fault, y'all. That was my fault. I should have. Grab those back legs at all times. Look, I just wanna show you the shot placement real quick. Look where he got hit. You see that? And he's still up, guys. That's a straight kill shot right there. But they come back to life. Now I got mud all over you guys. Lesson learned. Don't do the stupid stuff I do. Look, we have two fat ones right there. Let's put this guy out. Let's get the air rifle. Let's teach those iguanas super fat lessons. Go. Where's the water at? I'm seat. We got him, guys. He's euthanized. He's bagged. He's going in the bag. Oh, that's a nice, healthy dinosaur right there. Sheesh, I got a little bit of dirty. But I got the iguana, and that's what matters. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's reload. We have two more alphas being territorial over there. We need to take those puppies out. It's a, it's a direct, direct threat to the people out here in this condo. They want them all gone, guys. So that's why they hire us out here. We come out here, bada bing, bada boom, put them in the bag. Let's see if those guys are still there. Yeah, we got one there, got another alpha. Where'd the other one go? Yeah, the other one looked kind of black. I don't know where he's at. That might be him up there, but it's too high for us to shoot at. Well, we can shoot at that one right there. Yeah. was that shout out to the boys at fx air guns y'all providing the rifle honestly not trying to brag or not trying to toot my own horn but this is what i use for professional removal there's a lot of different reasons why it's high shot count high magazine deadly accuracy quiet i mean it's got everything that i need uh to do my removal that i personally love i mean 28 shots in the magazine you bring two magazines in your pocket you're you're hunting all day you're doing removal all day you don't need a reload in the heat of the moment, when the alpha is looking right at you and he's about to escape and you have nothing in you, you're gonna wish you had a couple extra shots. Let's go pick that puppy up.
like the birds or something. Sound like supersonic, right? The birds trying to tell me something? Look at that, guys. Mm. Big, fat female. All right, well, I'm already all muddy, so I mean, I gotta go for a swim. No Just wash my back for crocodiles, all right? <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, that's him. Big swamp dragon. Got him, son. Nice. Remember what I say? Let's just take a minute and look for him, right? Yep. We know he jumped in. He was hurt. He wasn't going far. Patience pays off 99% of the time. You just got to trust your instincts. Get her, she's right by the water. I, I, I don't want her jumping in. Last thing I want to do is go swimming, even though it's really hot. We got a couple of sitting right here. Those are all headshots, too, guys. These things are just strong. Why you want us hanging out here? Mangoes. Oh, those silly guys, they love fruit. This is a fresh one right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's just snacking, snacking, snacking. Alpha, come look at this guy. camera make sure we're getting an accurate depiction of this iguana hey guys it's been a while since I've seen a uh, big iguana like this I'm gonna try to get a zoom in with this big camera Here's... zoom in with this big camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about look at that guy right there wow that's a giant and we got some females right there all right I know what we're gonna do if you guys want to see me take down the super alpha, what I, look, oh my gosh. I need you guys to comment right now. He wants us in the back. What the heck is he doing? He got he's in the water. He's cool. Oh my gosh. He literally went in the water to cool off. Oh. Alright, so come up a little bit. Let me get this rifle ready. Let's
try, you know? iguana we got him about 120 yards critical shot right there in the lung right there incapacitated him and he's down for the count ladies and gentlemen we have some other ones to recover let's go get some in the shade that's definitely the biggest one that we got today shout out to the sponsors the people at fx air guns the people at pyramid air the people at olight the people at gamo uh a lot of other sponsors that help us do what we have to do here in Florida that support the removal of invasive green iguanas. I've got iguanas in the bag. Silly iguanas. Guys, not to worry. All iguanas removed on today's show will be used for meat. So nothing's going to waste. As you know, iguanas are our extreme delicacy. Uh, in my country and a lot of other countries. And they're becoming extremely popular here in South Florida. AKA Jurassic Florida. AKA the iguana capital of the world. If you want to come out here and book a tour, hunt some iguanas, eat some iguanas, we do offer guides, but it's, the time, it's very limited, guys. You guys can send me an email. Put that in the description down below. Got you, buddy. <laughs> Caught you with your noodle out, guy. Silly duck in the back. Whoa, whoa, ow, ow. All right, Mr. Duck, you've been a silly guy. Anyways, guys, come book a trip. I promise it's gonna be a lot of fun. You get to hang out with yours truly. Stay tuned though, we're gonna go to the truck and give you guys the final count. Whoa, look at this. Look at the cheeks on this puppy. He's huge. Wow. Oh my goodness, look how fat his cheeks are. And what we've seen from the iguana fossils Iguanas have muscles right here in their jaws, and then they have th these jaws. They actually have double hinged jaws. Incredible, guys. Wow. And I took them all out with my FX Impact M3. All right, boys, it is that time. All right. We're going to go ahead and count up these iguanas. Super rough. And then we got the big giant super alpha. Wow. Check that out, guys. Absolutely incredible. Man, we got 12 of them. All good size. 
Not bad for an hour's worth of work, ain't that right, Dill? <sighs> Some would say it's close to impossible in an hour, especially this big guy. Oh yeah. You know, we got the right tools, we're in the right area, and we got you guys at home, so anything is possible. 12 iguanas in the back. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's your friend Raj, the Iguana Man, signing out. Woo, it's hot. I'm about to go get me a nice ice cold coconut water and a Gatorade. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, obliterate the subscribe button. Share the video right now. Let me know your favorite part. 12 iguanas in the back.